Hey Emily, this is April Biss. Sorry I didn't get back to you until now, uh, but I just opened up your file and so just kind of ignore the way that this looks because for some reason I'm not, I don't have this font that you had your plate dingbat in. Um, but we don't have to worry about that because I think what you need to do is, is kind of rethink about what the mark that you need. I think that you did a great job with exploring different things, but I don't know if the dish is really kind of working for you. So I would just eliminate it. Let's start from scratch here. All right, another thing that I noticed <clears throat> is you are distorting your type, and that's a no-no with any type of logo, really anything in design. Once you distort your type, it becomes really, really hard to read. So what we want to do is we want to, uh, let's see here, what font is this? We want to just make sure it's not distorted. Roman. Okay. This is, I, I believe this is fine. Let me see here. Um, yeah, so what you want to make sure is that your Okay, so what you want to make sure is go to your character palette and see this vertical scale and this horizontal scale. Make sure they're at 100. If they're not, watch what happens. Say, so let's just do this one. It stretches them, okay? And that, to me, tells me right away that, you know, that shouldn't happen. So I would start with... You know, you have a good classical, classic typeface here. I would start with, you know, getting that as your main, your main focal point. Okay. So I just did Times New Roman bold. That's very, it's a classic font. It's going to work. Just adjust the letting here, which is here in your type panel box. The letting is the space in between your two words. That's how you would adjust it, get that together. That looks really good. And then, then I would, you know, this is secondary. Your bakery word is secondary. You can choose a completely different typeface for this. Maybe it's a sans serif typeface just to kind of set it off a little differently. Sans serif means it doesn't have the, the serifs, the little feet at the end. Um, so it would be something like, oops, let's try, try something not as thick. We may be able to use here. It actually doesn't pretty breeze good. Let's do Avenir. And we're going to do book. And I'm going to spread it out a little bit. So I'm going to spread it out to like 100. And that's kerning. And this is going to be secondary because. The name is the most important. Make sure these are aligned, centered. I would try something like this. Here's your align. Make sure it's aligned. And then what you can do is add little details. So maybe there, you know, maybe it's little dots that you're adding in there. Keep it simple. Whoops. Maybe the dots are. Uh, to the bakery word. Zoom in here, so oops. And, I just made a circle. I'm gonna do an alt drag. Make sure they align. See how that kind of gives a nice little, nice little look to it there. Oops. My app. There we go. Okay, and then what if you just did something really cool with one of these letters that you know might 
correspond with something that they would sell. You know, maybe it's a cupcake. Maybe it's a little cherry coming out of here. You know, really simple, something simple and cute. Um, let me think about this. Uh, you take your pen tool here. And draw out something like this where a stroke here. It's a little rounded. I'm gonna do little arrowheads. I'm trying to find if I could do a variated width here. Um, We could go in and actually modify this. So let me go take my pen tool. Let me let me um make two lines here so it's a little variated, so it's a little thicker. Okay, so it's going to be half moon. And then up like a cherry type thing. And this is something I'm going to have to look up because I do not know how to draw a cherry as good as if I didn't have it like somewhere on reference. Looks really bad, actually. <laughs> so let me actually go on Google Images, Cherry Icon. This is what you can do too. And let's go ahead and just drag and drop this on my desktop and we'll just you can trace it too but we'll just show you an easy thing here so place file place after you get that on your desktop and then once you get it on there you're going to want to trace this which Showing up here, image trace, object image trace. And then you want to hit object Im image space expand so you can get rid of the background white. Oops. And then maybe try to implement this somewhere into your design, something. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to make this work a little bit too much, right? I was going to say, maybe it could be coming out of this U, you know, and maybe it's, you know, a cupcake or something that's you're kind of playing around with, too. I mean, that kind of looks weird. Um, you know, maybe it's just kind of playing around with the U and this space here, making it look like a cupcake. Well, maybe that isn't the answer. Maybe you're, oops, maybe you do like a Google image search for cupcake top icon. This is just kind of getting you a little bit more forward with your with your stuff. So maybe it's like this cool whip type of look here. And the upper part of this. So a couple a couple things um, to just think about that you can play around with. 
And what's neat about doing this is once you kind of get this image traced out, oops, I don't want to copy this. Object image trace. Image trace, and we want to expand so we can take out this part. So now I just have this part that I can maybe implement somewhere up here. Maybe on top of this U. Or it could even just be on top of here. You know, without it looking, you know, <laughs> like a poop emoji. <laughs> you know, maybe that needs to look a little bit more like icing, but you kind of get the idea. It's just simplicity. So this is all you would need. Something as simple as this, you know, make it look established. Um, make it look unified. Keep it simple. Focus on the name, as I did here, and kind of play around with it. All right, let me know if you have any questions.